Hello everybody, today we have some more highlights from a couple of YouTube streams from the past week and we found another albino cape buffalo along with some other trophies but before we start, if you enjoy what I do here, consider subscribing and turning notifications on and if you want to help my channel grow even more, be sure to like the video so that YouTube will recommend it to more people and if you want to talk with me or anyone else in the community, be sure to join my Discord and become a member of the Crow's Nest today but with that being said, let's get straight into today's video Watch that one be a 5 Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> well, we got a pretty big move on right there. 182 on the upper estimate. That is awesome. <laughs> and we also, we actually have a few good fours too. This spot is insane. Anyway, this is one of the spots I was going to say is a pretty good move on spot. Uh, for whoever was asking about that. And yeah, we got a five here. <laughs> we got a five along with a couple pretty good sized fours. So that is awesome. I don't know if we're going to be able to take this shot, though. He's kind of quartering. Maybe we'll move to the right over here. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this guy out because we're actually at a good angle now. If he turns, I'm going to be really sad. There we go. That was a good shot. Um, if we can get one of the fours, that would be fantastic. That might have hit vertebrae. It did. Okay, awesome. What about the other four? Where did he go? Probably it'd be nice to take him out too, but I'm not going to be able to, sadly. Okay, this has to be the five right here. He didn't run too far at all. Yeah, he barely ran anywhere. That's awesome. Got a good shot on this guy and took him down quick. What a beautiful mouflon. I really love the mouflon. One of the coolest, coolest species in the game. All right, let's see what this guy is. Ooh, it's almost 183. 182.80. That's a pretty big one. Well, I'm glad that we got this because we we need to fill up some of the smaller plaques, and these guys can fit on those, uh, which it still makes no sense to me why they can fit on them, but the bighorn can't. That part makes no sense. Because you can put these on the same plaques that Springbok and Blackbuck can go on, but you can't put the Bighorn on them, even though they're basically the same size. But that is awesome. Definitely a good one. Sadly. Ooh! That's a gray one. I just... Wow, that's actually a gray one. A 160 scoring gray Mouflon. Oh, we're gonna tax that. That's gonna be a really good placeholder. That is an awesome gray. I didn't even know we shot this thing. It looks really nice too. This is almost as big as the diamonds or almost as nice looking as the diamonds. We got some, there's a level four, three. Oh my gosh, there's so, oh, that's a five. I was just about to say, there is so many Ibex here. There's gotta be a diamond. And yeah, we got a five. Uh, there's a ton of these, jeez. All right, this should be close enough. Once he turns broadside, you know, that's a really cool looking one, actually. I like that. This one's got kind of a funky rack. Definitely cool. Let's try to get him to go broadside. He's been kind of stubborn so far. If he just turns a tiny bit, we'll be good. I know, Kill Clinton. I'm not going to rush it, hopefully. Let's hope I don't rush it. You never know with me. Anything could happen. Ooh, I think we can actually take this. I think we can take this shot. Um, maybe get a little bit further down. Okay, this is perfect. We can take this. We can definitely take this. That should be good. It is. We got him down. Nice. Let's go. And there he is. That was really cool to see the whole animation and everything there. That was absolutely perfect. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better shot. Let's go, my dudes. That's awesome. This guy died in a really good spot. Can I? Ah, never mind. He died in a terrible spot. I can't stomp that down. 
That's sad. We can't even get a good picture of this guy. All right, well, in that case, let's just claim this guy. It should be a good shot. Yep, it is perfect. Single lung and liver. Wait, how did we not hit that lung? Not sure how we didn't hit the other lung, but I mean, it worked out. And yeah, that is by far the coolest one we've killed. Look at how this one's twisted. That is so cool. Okay, so even though this score is lower than the one we already have, I think we're putting this one in the lodge. Because this guy just looks better. It's a much better looking one. <laughs> Left lungs, known physic felons. Pretty much. Actually, oh, never mind. Yeah, it just completely, it actually completely missed. This is actually correct. For a second, I thought that it should have hit left lung, but no, it stopped right before it. I didn't realize the Ibex lungs were so spaced apart. Interesting. Still pretty sweet, though. I'm happy with that. That might be the best one we've killed when it comes to uh, the Bathidi Ibex. We've got a couple that were like 198 and 199, but that one looks way cooler. Ooh, is that another albino? Oh my gosh. This has got to be a respawn from one of those ones that charged us last time. I can't tell if that's leucistic or albino. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a mythical too. And another mythical. Oh gosh, uh, this is not good. We got to kill this one real quickly before we get charged. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, that's albino. 100%. think we got it too. Ooh, that's not looking good. I mean, it's just a female, but still. What? How did that completely miss? Hello? How is that not vitals? I think I might go back to the 338. Because there's definitely some issues at times with the 300 of these guys. I only get this problem with capes though. Everything else the 300 is insane on. I have a feeling we're going to be chasing this albino for a little while. Should I just reset the time and wait for it to get back to its zone? Might be a little more efficient than chasing it around the coastline, but who knows, maybe we'll stop running. <sighs> Come on, man. Really? They're still chasing me. They do. They would look very, very similar. Okay, there we go. There's our albino. This is just a female, so we probably won't worry about score. I'm just gonna try and get it down at this point. Oh. I should have taken care of this when I had the chance. Hmm. <laughs> well. Looks like we're resetting the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, oh, really? Then we got a warning call from over there, which is probably... Knowing my luck, it's probably the albino. Oh! Never mind, that's the albino. That's the albino. Let's take this shot. Not even going to take my time. We just need to get it down. That wasn't the best shot. That one was good though, I think. Oh, nope. That one was. Oh, those two actually did hit. They were just not good. There we go. Oh, we finally got the albino down though, and it's actually right next to our tent. That is lucky. That is very lucky. Oh, we didn't hit it. What? And it's at full health again? And I hit the tree. There we go. Should be good. 
or not? I'm so confused. What is going on? That looks like a good hit. That one for sure is. There's no way that that wasn't. I'm actually not sure what's up with the 338 right now. A lot of these shots look like they're good, but for some reason they're just not hitting. Or just not hitting very good. I honestly don't even know. Yeah, this is very low bleed rate. What is going on? Do we just have the penetration bug, maybe? What a beauty, though. It's nice to finally have another one of these. Too bad it landed in a bush, though. But let's see. That's not where it was facing. What? Look at that. Point blank 338. We got the penetration bug. Wow. Okay. Um, it's definitely not accurate. This was from 53.94 meters and it couldn't penetrate to lung with a 338. But in the paper bullets, I don't think I even have those equipped. I don't think I even have those equipped. Yeah, it was poly tips. I don't know. I don't like that, but take the shot anyway. Yeah, it's bad decision as I kind of figured, but figured we could go for it and hopefully get a hit. Turn for us and then we can take this or or do whatever that is. There we go. That's a good shot. We got him down. Nice. We barely saved that though. Anyway, here's this little guy right here. I don't think this will be diamond, but there's that small chance that maybe. What? What? I mean, it wasn't anywhere close, but that's not even the shots we took. What is going on with the high caliber rifles right now? I've only been having this much trouble with the 300 and the 338. All right, so we're actually currently in the mule deer lodge that I have set up. Uh, this is kind of where I've been storing like the extra trophies that aren't quite good enough for the main uh, Spring Creek Manor Lodge. And so I figured that just to make things easier, I'm going to show them off in here because I already had the cape in here and I don't have room for it in my main. Uh, so I just pulled all these down and put them in here so we can have them all condensed together. But anyway, this is the Bathidi Ibex that we killed. Uh, by far one of the coolest looking set of antlers or horns that I've seen on any Bathidi Ibex. I think it's really cool how they're kind of twisted in different directions. I don't know how easily you guys can tell but it is definitely very different one from the other uh, this one's really twisty compared to this one which I really really like I think that adds a ton of character to these guys it just looks so good compared to the symmetrical ones but anyway here is that 160 scoring gray Iberian Mufon uh, by far the largest gray one I've been able to kill it looks pretty sweet it's almost as big as our diamond one right here which this guy scores 182.8, I believe. Uh, this is the biggest one that I've killed. I don't think I've ever killed one that's bigger, so that is pretty sweet there. Definitely a beautiful looking ram. And right here we have that albino female. I'm still very sad that we got the penetration bug on it because it did knock it down to a bronze, but uh, not really too much we can do there. I mean, either way, it's just a female. It wouldn't have scored super high regardless, but... Uh, just very sad. Very sad that it had to happen to us, but a really cool trophy. I wanted one of these for ever since Verhanga came out, and once we got one, we ended up getting this one within like two weeks of each other, so that's pretty sweet. That's usually how Call of the Wild works. You get one of what you're wanting, and then they just come on in one after the other. It is honestly pretty crazy how that usually happens, but very, very awesome trophy. Definitely the best thing that we've got during the last couple days. And obviously, as you guys could probably tell by 
Uh, the way I was sounding in parts of the video, I was getting pretty frustrated with the uh, penetration bug because it was happening pretty much that entire stream. Uh, it was starting to become very annoying. So I apologize if I sounded a little bit uh, more irritated than normal, but uh, it's just after so many trophies are ruined by this bug, it uh, just it kind of gets to you after a while, but hopefully it'll be fixed in the near future. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get some of the screenshots and stuff and maybe even uh, this video out to the devs and hopefully they can get that bug fixed. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, but that's going to be it for this video. If you're not already sub, be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already liked the video, be sure to do that too. But until next time, peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic 